the American German Bulldog Nation. Welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. As always, we're sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Park Yoga. Check us out on all the platforms. Well, Trump is Mike and Joe Biden because he goes up the kiddie stairs to Air Force One. The stair the kids are supposed to use. It's hysterical. Never misses an opportunity to mock Joe Biden. This NSA trader, 31 years old, former NSA, trying to sell secrets at the airport to a Russian agent. Folks, I'm telling you over and over again, beginning with the Obama administration, this country has been infiltrated by spies. It's unbelievable. And I'm going to talk about it more in a topic coming up. For every single baby born in America this year, an illegal alien has come into. God, I loathe Joe Biden. Hating. All right, the ceasefire BS. See, this is the game they play. They act like they're all for Israel, you know, wanting to get rid of Hamas, blah, blah. But now they're saying, oh, maybe we need to do a ceasefire. And Netanyahu is buying that crap, and his generals aren't happy. Ceasefire my ass. Rashida Tlaib has tripled down on the fact that Israel bombed the hospital. The speaker, there's eight people, around, well, there's seven now, because one, no, there was nine. One dropped out last night to a standing ovation. He must have been really unpopular. Uh, but they're going to keep voting. They claim they're going to have a speaker. I'll believe it when I see it. 50,000 plus canceled real estate deals due to the interest rates. Unbelievable. You ever hear of Blueface, Jamie? There's a guy named Blueface. No, a red face, yellow face, green face. Blueface has to pay $13 million to a club that went out of business due to a shooting outside the club. Jill Biden's comments, are you ready for this? When she went to attend a Anna Wintour uh, fundraiser. Do you know what she says? She says, good old Jill says, she would want nobody better than Joe Biden in that situation room. Really? Here's Joe Biden in the Situation Room. <laughs> 50 cents mocking Joe Biden. When you got black leaders, I mean, he's got his own following, mocking a Democratic president, you know he's in trouble. 50 cents mocking Biden's beach vacation. Fauci says he can't sleep at night. He has nightmares about the next pandemic. We have nightmares about you, Fauci. Basic skills to graduate. One state, I forget the name of the state, is canceling all those skills because they discriminate against the black people. Way to dumb it down. Way to dumb it down. Hamas is so evil, all the stories coming out. They got $10,000 in an apartment for every hostage they kidnapped. Some of the atrocities, beheading, stomping, killing, raping, some of it's so bad they can't talk about it on television. Hamas, let's cease fire. 158 pile up, 9 killed, 25 wounded in Louisiana. It's always the fog, Jamie. It's always the fog. Trump registered to run for president in New Hampshire. He's way ahead. Now, this is one thing I want to just give a little bit about. Barack Obama says, you know, we have to be a little careful of the response because we're going to harden the attitudes for generations to come. Really? Really, Jack Wagon? You Jack Wagon? The Hamas, Hezbollah, Iranian attitudes already harder than an anvil. <laughs> it's not going to make any damn difference. Joseph Emerson, this Jack Wagon, Jack got in the Wagon? cockpit, Alaskan Airlines, turned off the engines. 83 counts of attempted murder. All right, now this I love. The CBS 60 Minutes interviewed. These five jack wagons, intelligence officers and whatnot, including Christopher Ray, the FBI, on Sunday night. And they all spoke about how dangerous China is, how China steals everything from us. Boom, 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 boom. Who created the situation? Who doesn't do a damn thing about the situation? It's unfreaking believable. It's enough to make your head explode. By the way, Jamie, completely unrelated, but I'm going to break it right here. I think I am going to change my party registration to independent and run for public office 
as an independent, including for Congress. I can't stand either freaking party. It's tough to win as an independent, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Israelis buy guns. Wow. More and more of them. Why? Why? Why would you buy guns? It's unfreaking believable. China, Russia, and then North Korea, they say this is all a smoke screen. It ain't a smoke screen, folks. It's an all out war. We have the communists after us, the Muslims after us, the terrorists after us. All right, somebody stole two million dimes. Do the math on that, Jamie Spinley. What are two million dimes? How many? That's a how much money is that? All I gotta say is this: What kind of jack wagon st steals two million dimes? Why don't you steal two million quarters? Let me know when you got that number ready. Stocks went down yesterday. Why? Treasury yields. That's debt. Five percent. Most yield since 2007. Not looking good. By the way, I'd like to announce here that I'm going to start a Eric Dieter's Finance Daily Report, too. Uh, all three Italians that were kidnapped by Hamas, dead. Pfizer and Moderna stock went down. Why? Because they're not selling as much COVID vaccine. Chevron's going to buy Hess for $53 billion. Second gigantic deal. 200000 k do you believe that? All those dimes for just 200000 Trump is getting more and more union voters. Looking good for him. Musk says he'll give a billion dollars to Wikipedia if they change their name to Dickopedia. Middle class families, you ready for this? Can't buy half of what they could have bought in 2020. Who's voting for Joe Biden? In three freaking years, they can't buy half of what they could. Wall Street CEOs are back in Israel. It's kind of a shocker to me, but you know why? The money. Trump is going to hold the next big uh, debate, GOP debate. He's going to hold a rally in Florida. Nashville police son, he apparently has been estranged from him for years, shot two cops and is on the loose. Salty groundwater. There's more and more salt, they say, getting into our groundwater. I would like some French fries and salty water. <laughs> China, according to reports, by 2030, they're going to have a thousand nuclear warheads pointed at us. I need to run for president. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.